Hi all my beautiful ladies and welcome back to Jaleesa's Fashion Files. This video will be on choosing the right perfumes for your body as well as some techniques in applying it that will cause the perfume to last a little bit longer than it will typically last you. So first, when it comes to purchasing a new scent, a lot of us discover new scents by asking friends and family or co-workers at work because we like the way that their perfume smells. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is that the way that it smells on them is not necessarily the way it's going to smell on you because their body chemistry is completely different than yours. So the way that they sweat, the moisturizers that they use, those are two factors that come into play with the way the perfume smells on them. So once you get to the counter looking for that perfume, I don't want you to just purchase it because you liked it the way it smelled on them and then leave. I want you to first spray the perfume on the paper samples because it's not mixed with any body chemistry or any sweat and you can get a true smell of the way that the perfume actually smells. So you can spray it on that, whisk it around, then smell it. And and then if you like the way that it smells still then you can apply it to your wrist area now you might be wondering why every time you go to the counter the person is always asking for your wrist it's not just because it's an easy access it's because those pulse areas which is your inner wrist your neck area right here uh, your in between your elbows and in the back of your knees those areas exude more heat so when you spray the perfume in those areas the heat that is being exuded from your skin is going to mix with the perfume and it's going to cause the scent to truly come alive and that you can get a true idea of how the perfume will smell so once you have sprayed the perfume on your wrist I don't want you to just go okay I'll take it I don't care what that person is telling you what promotion is going on I don't want you to feel any pressure by anyone you're going to say okay I'm gonna walk around a little bit and if I like it I'll come back so walk around shop eat some lunch get your body to sweat a little bit so that you can get a true idea of how the perfume will last on you once you decide to purchase it now if you like the way that it smells on you then go ahead and purchase it now once you get to the counter and you are going to purchase it you may have noticed that there is an eau de cologne or de perfume or de toilette and you might be like what is the difference between all of these three so the difference is the eau de cologne only has about three to five percent of the perfume oil mixed in with water and alcohol so once you have water in there that's going to of course somehow dilute the perfume oil and it's not going to cause it to last as long on your body so you might find that those are a little bit cheaper and the reason why is because there is not that much of the perfume there so you're not going to get that much of a stronger scent the Eau de Toilette has about 4 to 8% of perfume oil and it is mixed only with alcohol. So it's a step above the cologne because once you get rid of that water, it's going to cause the perfume to last a little bit longer. So if you like it just to not linger that long, you, you like it for a couple of hours, especially if you're one that gets headaches with perfumes, I would suggest that for you and it's not going to cost you that much money. So that is a good alternative if you really just don't like those strong smells. Now the Eau de Perfume are the most expensive because it has 15 to 18% of perfume oils mixed with the alcohol. Again, there's no water, so it's not going to dilute or cause the perfume oils not to be as strong scented. So these are the ones that are going to last you the longest. So if you're one that likes to have that perfume lingering throughout the entire day, I will say eliminate the oil day toilet and cologne and stick with the all day perfume because you're going to get a good bang for your buck and you're going to probably use a lot less than you would need to use for the all day toilet and cologne. So even though it's a lot more money, you're going to have it lasting you a lot longer so I would say that it would be worth it so once you have determined the perfumes that you want I would definitely suggest not just sticking with one perfume because I personally like to switch up my perfumes throughout the seasons and have some for the spring and summer and then fall and winter and I also like to switch it around for the day and nighttime. So when it comes to fall and winter, you want to go for scents that are a little bit more musky, a little bit more stronger, because those are the scents that we're typically smelling. Gingerbread, pine nuts, all of those strong Christmassy uh, Thanksgiving flavors and scents, those are what we're typically smelling. So I would definitely suggest stronger scents. I have this one, and I actually do wear it during the spring and summer if it's like pouring rain, because the way that this perfume smells, it's just like it gives me that rain feeling so I don't even know um, it's called she and this is a very very strong scent this is what the bottle look bottle looks like and it looks like a raindrop 
It's really, really good if you like those strong musky smells during those fall and winter seasons. A perfume that I typically wear during the night, and I wear this all year long, so if you want to go for something that's all year long that you can wear during the night, I would definitely suggest Gucci's Guilty. It is absolutely a really, really good perfume. I love it. I've had it for a really long time. Again, it's an all-day perfume, so it lasts me a really long time. And it came with a, um, I got it in a set, so it came with that small um, perfume applicator, so I carry that around in my purse as well, just in case if I run out the door for date night and I forgot to apply, um, some perfume I can have it with me so this is what it looks like and it absolutely is really really a good perfume if you like something that's long-lasting another perfume that I would suggest and I love this perfume because it is it can be used for men and women so if you want to just have something that you can share with your husband I know it might sound a little awkward but again your body chemistry is different so the way we sweat is different so it's not going to have that same smell that it would smell on your husband on you is Creed I absolutely adore this perfume it is very very pricey so this is something that you might want to ask for for a birthday or for um, Christmas or a special occasion but it is a really 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 good perfume and they are they have a variety of different scents so I would definitely suggest you go to the counter and smell that because it really really is a good one and it is a strong perfume it's going to last you again and it's going to be worth the money because we've had this for like a couple of months now and you can see that it looks like we have it hardly used it but it does last a really long time now the perfumes that I like to wear during the daytime, um, especially during the spring and summer months, I would say is DKNY's uh, Be Delicious. I absolutely love this perfume. I've had this since, well I, not the same bottle, but I've been using this I would say since 2006 and it has been my staple. I always, always, always get compliments when I'm wearing this. Always get stopped and asked what I'm wearing when I wear this perfume. I think this is the only one that I get asked so much about it. So it really does smell delicious and actually when people smell they're like, oh what are you wearing? It smells so delicious and I'm like, it's delicious by DKNY. Um, and it also, she also has the red one. I I think when it first came out it was this one and the red one the red one is a little bit on the stronger side so I would definitely suggest wearing that one at night but this one you can wear during the day it's long-lasting and it is perfect for spring and summer and going into fall as well so definitely consider that another one that I really really love that I also wear during the daytime is flora by Gucci and it absolutely is a really really good beautiful floral scent flora and I don't know if you can pick that up, the, it's, the name is right there. And it really is a very girly, feminine smell. So this is something that's ideal during the spring and summer months because it's very floral. Again, I mean, I prefer to mix my scents up during the seasons, but if you just like to have one during the day and during the night, I would definitely suggest this to be one of your daytime perfumes because it really does have a long-lasting feminine smell. I would say that this next perfume has been like a classic legendary perfume and I believe that at one point it was discontinued. I do remember that a really really long time ago. I don't know if that was true or just a rumor but I actually have it in a small sample size. Um, when I'm done I'm going to go out and buy the bottle but this is Clinique's Happy. I absolutely love this perfume. I would definitely suggest to check out Clinique's Happy. I will also suggest not to apply perfume to dry skin. Moisturize yourself with a lotion that does not have any perfumes mixture in it because if it's just on your bare skin, it's going to cause the perfume to soak into your pores and then it won't last you that long. So if you apply, you know, a lotion or petroleum jelly, it's going to have a barrier in between your skin and it's going to actually set across the, the barrier and when you're sweating and everything throughout the day, it won't seep into your pores that you'll lose the scent. It'll just kind of mix in on top and you'll have a longer lasting scent. You can always buy sets that will have like a lotion or a roll-on applicator and then apply the perfume on that because you have the scents being layered and it will cause of course the scent to last you throughout the entire day. So again when it comes to having those perfumes last you a little bit longer you definitely want to apply it to those areas that I suggested to you. If you like to apply the perfumes to your hair, I will say that you need to 
apply it about 8 inches away from your hair because since it contains alcohol, it can dry your hair out. And also apply it to clean hair because if it's dirty and the oils that are in your hair will mix with the scent and it can actually cause it to stink. So don't do that if your hair is dirty just to kind of freshen up because it will actually cause your hair to smell. So I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you will consider everything that I said when shopping around for the right perfume for you. And don't forget to check out my fashion blog, jaleesasfashionfiles.com for outfit of the days, uh, for suggestions for your body type and shape. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay beautiful and true to yourself. Mwah. Bye.